Welcome to the Hounslow Council Box.com user training. An account has been created for you as part of the desktop refresh program. This short video will help you to understand how you're able to collaborate on files that you have access to on Box. Let's take a look at the shared folders to understand how collaboration works on Box by clicking on the Community Planning folder. On the right hand side you'll see that there are a number of collaborators listed. If I hover over a user, I can see the level of access they have to that folder. You'll also notice that when I click into the subfolders below, the users who are listed on the top level folder also have access to this subfolder. In the community planning folder, I have editor access. This allows me to add new files to this folder, edit documents and share this content with others. If we look at the council-wide information folder, you can see that I only have viewer access in this folder. I can view and download documents, but I can't edit documents or add new information in this folder. Every user will have access to a personal folder in Box. This will replace your P personal drive in the old shared folder environment. Your personal folder is a place to create, store and work on work-related personal files that you don't want to share with others or drafts that you will move to a shared folder when they're complete. The personal folder guidance file will give you more information on how to use this space. You can also create subfolders in your personal workspace that you can collaborate in with other users such as your line manager or colleagues. To create a subfolder, click on New, a new folder. Name the folder, and for now, I will keep this folder private while I'll add some documents. If I select a folder, I can create new files within it using Box Edit. This application will initiate the creation of a document from this folder on Box. I click New, and this example, I'll select New Word Document. I will name the file and click OK. And in this example, because I collect new Word document, it has opened Word for me. You can see the name of the file at the top. It is already saved in Box. I can then work on the document. And click Save to save my changes. And those changes will save back to Box. As I work on the document, each save I make uploads a new version of the document back to Box. The version count on the document will go up based on the new data that has been saved. If I click on the file, Box generates a preview window and shows my most recent edits. I'm now ready to add my line manager to this folder. I will click on Invite Collaborators to add collaborators to this folder. And when I start typing my manager's name, the letters will populate in the drop down menu and I can select my line manager. If the person wasn't in the drop down menu, you simply have to type in their whole email address. Next, I need to select the appropriate level of access for my collaborator. It's important to ask yourself what level of access that person will need to the content. Should they be able to edit? Should they be able to upload and download? 
or should they only be able to upload? There are seven different permission levels that you can assign. Be sure to get familiar with these to ensure you are granting your colleagues the right level of access to your folders. In this case, my manager is going to need a high level of access to the files in this folder. So I'm happy with editor. I can change this message if I'd like. And then I click invite. You can now see that the test folder has changed to a collaborative folder. It is now blue with the outline of two people. Now that I've added my manager to the folder, I might want to send a message asking them to review the file. I can add a comment or task. I can tag the person I want to receive my message by putting an at symbol before their name. Again, as I start typing their name, their full username will appear, which I can select and then write my comment and click Add Comment. I can also assign a task. Again, I will write Please Review, but with tasks, I have an address book. If I click in here and start typing their name, their full username will appear. Select. I might also wish to set a due date. I have a dynamic calendar to use and when I select a date, it remains with the task. Click Add. The history of the comments and tasks remains with the file. Whether I use comments or tasks, the person I tagged will receive an email with the content of the message and a link back to the file. When I return to my personal folder, you'll see that the personal folder is still private and accessible only to me but I now have a collaborative subfolder that is accessible to one other person, my line manager. If I click on it, I can see my line manager on the right hand side with the editor access that I gave her. Back at the level of my personal folder, I can create subfolders that are still private to me. For example, a folder for my timesheets. You can also use Box Edit to edit documents already uploaded to Box. Navigate to the file that you wish to edit and be sure you have editor rights if you wish to edit files in other folders that are not personal to you. Right click on the file to open the document in the application that it was initially created in. In this example, Microsoft Word. You will be prompted to lock the document to ensure other collaborators cannot make edits while you're working on it. And the file will open in the application that is appropriate to the file. As before, you can make changes in your file's application. For example, highlighting a section for review. Hit save. And a new version of the document will save back to box. You can now see that we are on version 3. If we click on the file, you'll see the document updated with your edits in the preview of the file on box. To receive email notifications for updates made to files and folders, click on More and then select Properties and email options. Customise the settings to suit when you would like to receive notifications and save the settings. Thank you for joining the Box User Training. Be sure to have a look at the other Box Training videos as well as the Box User Guide accessible on the Desktop Refresh support website desktoprefresh.hounslow.gov.uk the Box Help Centre at support.box.com is also useful for more helpful videos, tips and tricks to get you started.